Hey guys, it's Brandy. I just wanted to hop on and do a tutorial video. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this like on other YouTube videos and YouTubers and all that stuff, but I thought I would share. Um, I'm making some memory deck shaker cards. My daughter Brooklyn is going to help me as well. Um, I am taking, I die cut using KS Crafts memory decks cards. Um, I have a star one and a heart one. So I use those and I die cut these. And I die cut the big one twice so I can do the back and the front. And I glued those together using art glitter glue. And then I also cut out the square that they had. Um, I don't know if you guys could see, but there are like two different dies. So you got the border inside. So if you want, you can keep the border inside while you die cut it, and it will cut it like open if you wanted to. And you can make like a see-through shaker that way. But what I'm doing is I just took this part, and I'm going to be using some tool, which I just have this big roll of white tool here. And it's just like mesh type stuff, and that's what I'm using for my shaker. Um, and then I'm just going to hot glue it. And then this is a tool from Dollar Tree that I am using. It's like a makeup brush. And it's like silicone. So, and I'll show you how I use that. And then my daughter is going to help me fill the shakers. And then I'm using hot glue to glue the tool onto the square part. So all I'm doing is taking hot glue along the edge here on the back side. And then I'm taking this part wrapping it this way. Using this tool, I'm just taking that and pushing it this way. So, just like that, and then the hot glue just comes off like that. That way you don't have to burn yourself. And then, I'll do another strip of hot glue. Here. Yeah. Well done, baby. Mom's gotta glue this, otherwise it dries. So, and then again, I just take that brush and kind of pull it this way. Take the excess, throw it away. Same with this side. Take hot glue, just like that. And then pull it towards you, like so. And it won't matter what the back side looks like because no one will see it. So I kind of left this open, which I'm going to actually trim it. That way it's not so long. And then Brooklyn, did you want to come help me fill this? Mm -hmm. Alright, come on over here. I'll give you a package first. Oh, she made me a package. Alright, go ahead and make your way over here. So she packaged it up using some washi. Look. Aw. Thank you. She absolutely loves her washi tape holder that I got her recently. Alright, baby girl. So, yes. what we're going to do is we're going to take, these are spoons from Dollar Tree. Um, they come in like a pack of ten or so. And I use them for my sequins. Alright, so I'm going to show you what to do. So you're going to take a little spoonful like this, not a huge one, and then you're going to put it in there like okay. that. Yep. A little bit more. Oops, that's okay. Go ahead and keep going. We'll pick that up. There we go. Let me see. So you don't want too much, but you don't want too little. Go ahead and put one more spoonful. Here, we'll do it a little bit more than that. A little bit more. Do one more spoon. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Alright. I'm gonna do these ones. Yep, we'll do those ones next. Alright, so once you get your shaker made, 
go ahead and flip, oh, leave those shut for now. We're going to finish this one. So then I just take the glue and I put another strip along the top here to seal it. And then you just take your tool and again brush it this way. Just like so. And you got yourself a shaker. Hey. Looks like I got a little bit hanging off here. There. So there's your shaker. And then I'm just going to stick this like right here. So I'm just going to use some more hot glue along the back here. Just like so. And you got yourself a shaker. And that's all there is to it. So Brooklyn, you want to help me with the other one? Yes! Alright, so we're going to do this again. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and do a strip of hot glue there. Take my tool. i seen like Craft Purge or somebody share this tip on YouTube so I had to check it out and I love it. It saves me from burning my fingers because I used to burn my fingers all the time when I used hot glue. So just take that. Hey, you burn yourself? Yeah, I used to all the time, didn't I? Do you remember when mommy burned herself? Yes. Yeah, it hurts. And then do that side. Just like so. And then see the hot glue comes right off this tool. So that's nice. Alright. So. For this one, I'm going to use three different kinds. I'm going to use this blue, this gold, and this black. Um, and these are little containers at Harbor Freight. They fit into another container. Um, and these work awesome for um, sequins. Alright. So grab a spoonful of the gold, grab a spoonful of the blue, if you make a little mess that's okay, a little bit more of the blue, okay, now one spoonful of the black. Go ahead and do another one of the black. One more of the gold. Okay, that'll be plenty. If you want to, go ahead and pick up these. Put them back into the blue for me. Thank you. And then you just add another strip of glue. And I probably should have trimmed that down, but that's okay. It won't matter. But yeah, so. And there's your shaker. And then, 
I'm going to take it and again I took two of them and glued them together that way there's a back side. I'm just going to glue the back of this to this part just like that. And there's another shaker. Oh yeah. And that is how you make the shaker memory dexes that I've been sending out. I'm hoping to get more shapes. I do have another memory dex die. Um, but I'm always it's one that you can make them as big and small hey, as you want. Wait, wait, stop. I can what? make more tags. Uh not right now. These are memory dexes. Oh, you gotta pick them up again. <laughs> but um these are the memory decks cards that I've been sending out. And again, these dies are from KS Craft. Um, I got them off of Amazon, but they are a company, I believe, from AliExpress. I've seen their dies on there. And I believe, I'm pretty sure that they make their own designs and stuff like that. They're not one of those that steals designs. Um, KS Craft, I believe, makes their own. But yeah, so um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial helps some of you that um, had questions about them. And hopefully they inspire you to maybe create some of your own and send these out. These are super fun to make. And I'm hoping to host a challenge here soon. Um, I've seen a lot of crafters hosting challenges lately and I've been really wanting to do one myself. Um, I do have a package all ready to go um, for somebody. I figure I could do like a challenge giveaway. I do have a package. Um, so be, uh, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I might um, host one of those here soon. Uh, we shall see. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Look, Say bye. I, bye. <laughs>